Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share my thoughts and opinion on the new 56mm F12 WR. Fujifilm Canada loaned me a copy to play with while I was visiting Toronto for about a week. And in that week, I put it through its paces. I was using this lens every chance I got. I used it on a full day studio shoot, which was about eight hours, and then using it for about three, three or more, three more shoots after that. I want to start off with what I noticed first about this lens and its, its size. This thing is huge, man, and girthy. If you're coming from the original 56, you're going to notice the size right away. The new updated lens has a 67 millimeter filter thread, whereas the original is 62 millimeter. And the footprint is larger than most lens. I, I think this lens, the, the new 56, is a bit wider. When I unboxed it, it reminded me of that blooming onion. Uh, you know those, uh, the battered deep fried onions uh, that you would get at your state fair or your amusement park? You know that that shape, it's like, it's like really, really round and really wide, it seems like. The aperture ring was something else that I complained about in the original 56 millimeter because I thought it was a bit loose and the slightest movement will knock it knock its aperture out of its place and that was annoying i would like to say that the aperture dial on the mark ii version feels a bit tighter now making it making it a bit more difficult to knock out of its place so good job fuji and this new updated lens has the weather resistance label on it the original did not have that wr label on so if you are one to complain about the size and the weight don't get this lens. This lens is just pure glass and it's big. Uh, let's move on to the autofocus. This lens does not have the linear motors inside. The linear motors help lenses autofocus a bit faster. But for single point AF, I think this lens was quick and snappy. It reminded me of the old 56, but just a, bit, just a little bit faster. So if you're used to that lens, you'll feel right at home. It feels slightly faster, but nothing to write home about. And for continuous autofocusing, I definitely felt its struggle while shooting on my Fuji from X-T5. There were times where the combination of me moving back and forth with the model also moving around was just too much for the, uh, the 56 millimeter to handle and it uh, started to be unsure and it slowed down it, it slowed down on the X-T5. However, using this lens on the X-H2S, I felt there was a bit more improvement. It latched on a bit quicker, it tracked a quicker, and it was nailing shots at a much quicker rate because of the X-H2S and its stack sensor. But even though it was quicker on the X-H2S, I still felt that lag that you would get. Comparing the, the new 56 with the X-H2S, with my XF 33mm f1.4, it still feels slow in comparison. So this is probably the weakest part of this lens. Your mileage may vary depending on the camera that you are using. Let's move on to the image quality. And this is where I feel all your frustrations you may have about the autofocusing will just go away. The image is just beautiful coming out of this lens. If you want a portrait lens or a lens for detailed shots, I think this lens has your name on it. <laughs> At f1.2, the images are sharp in the center. This lens is made for the 40 megapixel sensor. It really shines on my X-T5. And every time I look back at the LCD screen to review my images, I just think it's a banger, son. And I'm just like, damn, I forgot how good this 56 millimeter f1.2 lenses. It's been a while since I used the original 56 millimeter f1.2 lens and there are so many lenses that I've covered and review over the years. You know, there are some lenses that I forgot got is really good and this being one of them now there is a difference in the original lens versus the updated lens i feel this new updated lens is sharper and it has more of a sterile look to it whereas the old 56 has some characteristics to the images it sort of reminds me of the xf 35 millimeter f14 and its new updated version the xf 33 millimeter f14 the xf 35 has the character and the x the, the 33 millimeter has less character but less character means there is some not no character at all. So that's how I feel about the new 56 millimeter F1 too. The bokeh seems smoother. The, uh, the subject isolation seems like it pops out more. And I think that has something to do with the, the rounded blades inside this lens. I think I read somewhere that it's like 12 or 13 blades in the new 56 millimeter F1 too. And the original only had like seven or eight. Or something like that so it's there's a lot of blades and i think that's why, one of the reasons why it's so big compared to the old one and i think because of that it just makes for like a smooth silky creamy background blur like it's so freaking smooth man i'm i'm like so impressed by the bokeh on this lens 
Uh, the bokeh balls on this lens is bigger than the balls that you see on like the 33 millimeter focal length. It's nice and it's very rounded. And I really like the way the balls look on this lens than any other lens that I've used so far. So hooray for balls. Yay. And when you have room to operate, you can get some crazy good subject isolation that just makes the images pop. It's just crazy how much this lens isolate your subjects. And I can't believe it's doing this on a, on a crop sensor as well. So much shallow depth of field in this lens. The F1.2 is also great for low light situations. I was using this lens outside at nighttime uh, down in downtown Toronto looking for city lights to photograph. And oh man, I forgot how fun it was just roaming the city like this. Combine the F1.2 with the IBIS in my Fuji cameras, I got some pretty decent shots that that I like at nighttime. It was a great shooting experience overall. And another thing I like about this lens is its close focusing distance. Uh, the old 56 millimeter comes in at 70 centimeters, while the updated one, the WR version, its close focusing distance is at 50 centimeters. And that's one thing I really like about this lens. You can get closer, and when you can get closer, you can isolate your subject more to give you that more of that creamy bokeh. And when you can get closer, that means that you can also get detailed shots. For anybody that wants to do detailed shots, this lens has the updated uh, close focusing distance. Let's move on to the cons. Like I said earlier, the size and the weight may deter some people off, but I think if you're like a working professional, you're gonna be okay with the size and the weight. And the price, uh, this is coming in at $9.99 and that could be a bit much for some people. But again, for the working professionals, this could be your money maker. Uh, for the folks that are on a budget, you can pick up the old 56 millimeter in the second hand market and that will perform really really well although those old lenses aren't optimized for the 40 megapixel sensor so that's something to keep in mind or if you're still on a budget you can get the Viltrox 75 millimeter f1.2 I think that lens provides such an incredible value so there are other options out there another thing that I wish this lens had was the linear motor treatment it would have been so nice if it could potentially be paired up with a camera like the X-H2S or the X-H2. So there's a missed opportunity on that, but seeing how big this lens is without the linear motors inside, I feel like if you put the linear motors inside, it's gonna be much bigger than what we have right now. So I guess that's a compromise that they did. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not, a, I'm not like an engineer. I, I don't know much, but I think that's that could be a reason why they removed it. I'm not too sure. Another thing is if you're in a quiet room, you're going to hear the autofocus on this lens just work when i first unboxed this lens and put it on my camera to test out uh that's one thing that i noticed so it does sound like the old 56 when it comes to autofocusing the gears inside are just grinding and it just feels clunky so just be mindful of that but if there are people in the room talking uh, and you're not going to hear it at all in the short amount of time that i've used this lens i had a freaking good time. I had a blast with this lens. It was a different experience because I'm so used to the 35 millimeter uh, focal length, the nifty 50 full frame equivalent. Uh, I do not shoot with this 56 millimeter focal length as much as I would like, but maybe in the future, I will add this to the list of lens that I want to pick up because it's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. The images that I get, oh man, they were such, they were so good. And I hope that my images prove to you guys that this lens is beautiful. This lens is a workhorse and anyone that picks up this lens, you won't regret it. I wanna give a special shout out to Fujifilm Canada for loaning me this lens to use for the week I was in Toronto. I appreciate you guys accommodating me on such short notice. What are your thoughts on this lens? Do you guys have this lens? Let me know your experience down in the comment section below. And if you're interested in this lens, uh, links to it are down in the description. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel where I do Fujifilm content. And as always, my name is Tung, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Goodbye. Okay,